Hello, my name is Sean and I'm here today to show you how to set up Control Mapper with Guild Wars 2. I am going to go through a start to finish from a completely blank template in Control Mapper. So, here we go. What I've got to start is I've got the Guild Wars window open, not full screen so I can see Control Mapper while I'm setting up. Control Mapper here on the right side and up at the top I've opened my volume mixer which allows me to set the feedback sounds for Control Mapper. So when you're using voice commands or the virtual triggers, this will be the volume at which those sounds happen. Now in the future we'll have in-game sound control, but right now this is where we had to draw the line to get the functionality in it. So let's get on our way. Okay, to start we open up our options and these are all the settings for converting your motions into key commands. Now with Guild Wars, if we go into our configuration here, we will see there is forwards, backwards, left and right. And to turn, we're going to use shoulders. Now when we click on shoulders, this allows us to move our rotate our upper body, so if our left shoulder is forward or our right shoulder is forward, it's triggering an action. Now in this case, I'm going to go more and that will open up the additional keyboard input or mouse input for any one of these. So if I went feet, it would do the same thing. And turn that on and say OK. When I'm doing left and right, I have two ways to do this. I can either use my straff, which is not what I want to accomplish. I use my arrow keys here. Or in this case, I know how Guild Wars works. I want the smooth turn, so I'm going to use the mouse. So in Guild Wars, when you hold your right mouse button down and move it, you get this. Now we only need the left and right right now. So we'll go like this. We'll move out of the way here because Wolfborn is in our face here. And I will say right mouse button will turn me. We've added one little trick. In Guild Wars, if you happen to have your mouse up here and you hold the button and you rotate it, and then when you let go, it'll be up here still. Now, this can be a problem I found when you're playing because you sort of lose where your mouse is when there's a lot going on the screen. So what we've added is the option to center mouse pointer. And that will make sure it's there, and it'll also make sure it doesn't go shooting off into the corner if you don't have your shoulders squared with the connect when you're standing there. Our turn sensitivity, we'll leave that at default, and our trigger distance we'll get into a little later on. But there we go, we've got that. We've got mouse, right click, center mouse, and then we make sure that the title, as I put in here already, matches a portion of what's on the name of the window of the application. It could just say guild even, and that would work just fine. So we've got that, we apply that, and click back on that window, make sure you have the active window, otherwise it won't do anything. And I will stand up and I will back up here until it sees me. And there we go. You'll see as it translates into that mode. Okay, so now where I am, if I turn my shoulder to the left, I go that way. If I turn my shoulder to the right, I go that way. So you get a nice, easy, organic way to turn yourself around in the game. Okay, let's take a step further with that. And that sound simply means that it has lost tracking of you, so it doesn't have Broken Man sitting up on the screen there all the time. Okay, so at this point, we've got that going. Let's add some feet. Now with feet, we're going to use key commands. So we click back over here, look what our keys are, and we see we have our WSAD. So up, down, or in this case, forward and backwards, is a key, and I click on it, and I press W. And I click on this one and press S. Now if you keep pressing keys, it will keep adding them. So click outside of that box to stop adding keys or click in it again to reset to a new key. So in this case, that's the incorrect one. So I'll click away, click back in, S, and sidestepping, which is our strafing. I'll use the keys again and I will click A for there, D for there. All right. So that's all in place. You don't have to save it or anything right now at this point, though it's not saved in the template. 
but you don't have to go apply. This is only when you're setting the name of the title of the game. Close this. Close this up. Get myself back out there again. Until it sees me. There we go. And now, so I got my shoulders. Like I said, keep yourself squared with the connect so it it doesn't have you sort of if you're looking out the window, it sort of wanders off in one direction on you. So we've got here, and I'm going to hold this with one hand so it doesn't shake around a lot. And when I step forward, I'm now walking in the game. Stop. And step back. Stop. Essentially, as you can see in the skeleton, I have both feet side by side. And if I want to take an action, I simply step either one out in front or either one in back. Now, of course, I can turn at the same time. So I can something add a little more fluid motion to it by adding the two of those things together. I've also got my sidestepping. And if you're feeling creative, you could, for example, be walking backwards, turn, and sidestep at the same time.